Cat is the boss here, and you have to pet it. What was the best you have no power here moment you have ever seen? We had an HR lady who was extremely power hungry. She is walking around with the president of the company who flew in from Japan. She rushes him though the warehouse. Just spits out oh these other warehouse guys we don't have to stop and talk to them. He stops walks over and starts talking to me about my last vacation. How buying my house went. You could just see her fuming behind him as we talked for almost 45 minutes. I've had multiple meeting with him. We knew each other really well. I don't think he liked her and drug it out on purpose, but I was thrilled to see her just standing there bored as hell. HR lady doesn't seem to care about human relations. She would order lunches at work for beating goals only for office people. Production and warehouse teams would come in and be told oh none of this is for you. But we make and ship the products, but that doesn't matter I guess. I taught my 6th grade students about democratic processes and we ran a simulation. Without fail, every one of my classes tried to impeach me. Should have played monarchy instead. As long as you don't have a guillotine in your class. Did your parents sign the permission slip for the execution? When I was working customer service for a restaurant delivery service, not unlike DoorDash, I had a customer send in a complaint about hair in their food. The hair was sitting on top of the food. I check their account, and they had one order on their account, which is a red flag. I check their phone number and find multiple accounts, each other one to two orders, all of them complaining about hair in the food. I deny refund because the customer has actually used the same identical photo for the last order since they ordered the same thing. The customer tries to argue with me, threaten to never use the service again, typical stuff that they always say. Eventually the customer gives up and ends the call, then immediately tries again. I get the support request see who it is, then deny the refund again. She ends the call, then tries again. The person behind me gets the call. I tap the person on the shoulder and show them what I pulled up on my screen and that person denies the refund. The next day she calls back and tries again and is outside of the refund window, so the customer demands to speak to a supervisor. The supervisor bans her from the service for multiple fraudulent refund requests. The customer tries to argue with me, threaten to never use the service again. So we agree, great. A co-worker friend of mine was flying back from a sales conference in Vegas, and he was able to upgrade to a first class seat. We had this bitch sales VP that was on the same flight, she was the snobby, entitled type with a full time nanny and giant McMansion in the suburbs, and she generally treated people who worked for her like servants. She sees him in a first class seat as she is making her way to coach and asks him how he got that seat. He used points to upgrade. As people are getting settled in, she makes her way back up to the first class cabin and asks to speak with the lead flight attendant. She tells him that one of her underlings is sitting in first class and that she needs to switch with him since she's higher on the corporate ladder. The guy can't believe what he's hearing, but she won't take no for an answer. Finally he tells her she has to go back to her seat or she will be escorted from the plane. She made a complete ass of herself in front of the whole first class cabin. I had a rough childhood with a drug addict father. My mom struggled to make ends meet and my first job was paying for the mortgage. After several months of working again at my first job, I finally had some money to spend on myself and decided to get a computer and a decent internet connection. At the time the best internet I could buy as part of a dish combo package. I bought a dish and brought it home to install on the house. During this time my dad was still living at home with us, but he was hardly there and my parents had all but separated at that point. My dad promptly asked me what I was doing, putting a dish on his house. I'll let him know that I pay the mortgage now and I make the decisions on what we do with the house. I was young, but it was a very empowering moment for me. Guess revenge is a dish best served on the side of the house. One of my new employees came from a competitor who is, shall we say, not as put together as we are. Her former boss had actually called me to yell at me about poaching his consultants. Which, in and of itself, is weird enough. However, a few weeks after she started the dude rolled up to our office. He had apparently been calling her to get her to finish an analysis for him and she just ghosted him. I went to the lobby to see what the duck he was doing here. He started in on me again and then she happened to walk by. 
I didn't fully understand the conversation, but at one point he literally demanded she do this analysis. She just said, or what? And waited a few beats before turning on her heels and walking away. I did the ol' hand on his back point to the door universal symbol for leave or a large security man will make you leave. Never heard from him again. When an unhappy client threatens to go hire a better lawyer, they don't seem to get that this isn't a threat when they aren't paying me. In my professional experience, it is exceedingly rare to be fired by a client you don't want to fire you. I've worked at a law firm for only a few months, but, yeah. Every time a client has fired us, like three times, everyone at the office is like oh thank god. In my first apartment, my parents came to visit, and I said duck. When I hit my head on the open door of the freezer while standing up from grabbing something from the fridge, my mother said you can't talk like that in my house and stopped mid-sentence. My late mum went one better, she was staying at ours, and I dropped a plate and said duck. Oops, sorry mum. It's your house, lad, but do you mind if I do? No, be my guest. Have I told you my new neighbors are cunts? I miss her. I was working as a consultant for a company, there was a bit of a competition between me and this guy, company starts to have some financial issues so I leave and start working for a client of this. Shortly after joining they bring in this guy I was competing with at my old job, he was technically my equal, except now I was employed by the client and he was just a consultant. He was trying to one up me during meetings and my boss told him that decisions are made by the company not the consultants. It felt good. I worked at Awamut as a cashier, and the assistant manager there was a duck. He would insult everybody working there, and forced us sometimes to do work above our pay grade. Six months later me and him got transferred to another Walmart that was just built, and they needed to pick a manager and assistant manager some random got manager, but I got assistant manager, I guess all the complaints on the assistant manager basically gave him a demotion, so one day he was ordering the other cashiers around then I pulled him to the side and told him that if he kept pulling the same shut around he would be out of here. I haven't heard anything from him since. I worked at a movie theater and some customers were adamant that a staff member had stolen their wallet after they dropped it. Turns out that these people just couldn't see and found the wallet once they actually looked for it. They got irate with literally everyone, from the mall security to the managers to the staff. Mall security finally said get the duck out and the customers went you can't say that. This isn't your theater, we are customers. Mall security guy promptly said this is my mall, and I can do whatever the duck I want. New CEO came to our department on the first day of his work. He didn't have a pass card, yet and a lower level employee told him that he can't enter without pass card. CEO got upset and ordered a worker to let him in, but the worker insisted, show me the pass card, or you're not entering. Few days later this worker got a bonus. My parents were yelling at me, and then my grandpa walks over and tells them both to sit the duck down. They both shut the duck up and sit their ass down on the couch. It was by far the most powerful thing I've ever seen him do or may owe. My job right before my current one. Property manager, the owner was an absolute prick. He was heartless and rude and racist, and I loathed him. I hated every day going into that job, but I needed the money. I was applying daily to my dream company in hopes that eventually I'd be accepted. In the meantime, every time I complained or mentioned something to my supervisor I was told to shut up and get on with it. He was paying me too much to have opinions. Three years after, we were a small office and the receptionist and assistant prop managers had quit. I finally got accepted into my dream company and happily put in my two week notice. In desperate on, he offered me more money, a higher position, better benefits, which were laughable. When I said no, he asked why. I have never felt more gleeful than the moment of when I said I don't know, I'm not paid to have opinions here. That was a year ago, and even now the look on his stupid old face gives me joy to this day. New director. Decides admin should hold a meeting at noon mf in the nurse's lunchroom and bar them from entering during that time defines it in a group text as a quick win. My response, please help me to understand how this is beneficial to remove the nurses from their lunchroom during lunch break. No response, his peers and higher ups in on the text. He is then moved to the quality department. Screwed up in so many levels. 
Why even do it in the first place? Was he just in the mood to ruin someone's day? Trying to pull and assert his dominance probably.